Okay, so now we're coming into the old western, old tombstone western town. Howdy. Yep. We give Thank you. They'll see you down there. Good, how are you guys? I am living the dream. Now hold that right there. The only way you're getting out of this town is a five dead fuck. Who runs this town? 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 Who so this is walking down the Main Street Tombstone. So we're in Tombstone, and we're actually gonna try out this place called Puny John's Barbecue. Uh, comes highly recommended. We're gonna go in and uh, see what it's all about. So Puny John's Barbecue, gotta love the name. See how puny he really is. All right, here Here's the inside, not a whole lot of, really not that impressed with the inside, but we'll see what the food tastes like. Okay, so we got a sampler plate with brisket, ribs, Pork, sausage, biscuit sandwich over there, and this is the, what they call that? The puny, puny pie. Puny pie. It's got brisket, macaroni, cheese, beans, so, hmm, should be good. So we're gonna try a little bit of bite of the, the brisket here. Going into the uh, mild sauce. Spicy macaroni and cheese. Not bad. I don't know. I had better. I had worse, but it's pretty good. What's what on here? Um, hold on. This is actually really good. Spicy mac and cheese. I'm making a mess. Mm. That is really good. Why? So I'm trying to get the rib apart, and it's yeah, it just kind of falls apart. It's supposed to. That to me is not a great rib. It's almost like it's been boiled. Yeah, that is not a smoked rib. That is something that's been boiled or baked. Definitely ribs, not, not that good. So after my, after my bite of the pork, um, I'm going back to the brisket because the brisket is really good. Definitely good. Not the best, just uh, middle of the rub. Give the brisket a thumbs up, ribs a thumbs down. Uh, but we'll keep eating. But the macaroni and cheese is very good. Spicy mac and cheese. Okay, so now we're gonna try some of the puny pie. Uh, brisket, beans, and mac and cheese. Kinda like the, the uh, Hot the Sunday, the pork Sunday we had up at Silverton. Well, very similar, um, but different. But that's actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm standing outside Puny John's Barbecue here, and um, it was okay. Uh, definitely more of a tourist type place. Uh, meat wasn't really smoked. I think the ribs were boiled. I uh, didn't really get any smoke flavor in anything, so yeah, it's cool. It's not, you know, cool old town, but definitely gonna give this place a thumbs down if you're looking for true barbecue. But if you want to come to Tombstone, check it out, give the whole town a thumbs up. So thank you for watching. So we left Tombstone. Now we're in the town of Bisbee. Uh, we're here. This is the place to be, and uh, it's a pretty cool. It's definitely up in the mountains. I don't know how high it is. 5,000 feet, maybe, maybe 5,500. Uh, it's down in the valleys of these mountains, and it's very hilly. Kind of like San Francisco almost, but uh, a lot of cool old buildings. So, so we're leaving Bisbee now. We're heading down to the border. Uh, we're heading to Naco. 
Uh, and this is beautiful. Red hills. Can't really see very well because it's in the shadow, but in lots of colors. Uh, pretty rough ter territory and a lot of mining. You can see where they had done all the, the different levels of mining, and there's mining roads all over. Pretty cool. Uh, big, big copper area. So a lot of copper being mined out of here. It was back uh, about 40 years ago, all the way till about 1877 is when they started. So here we are, right at the border. This is the uh, border wall. Pretty impressive, actually. And it looks like there's another wall on the other side, so. Let's hope we don't end up on the other side. Don't know if Trump built this part or not, but uh, still pretty cool. Thank you for watching another episode of Barbecue Travel Adventures. We hope you like Tombstone, Bisbee, and The Border, and also Puny John's Barbecue. So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit like, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Barbecue Travel Adventures.